Good evening everybody and welcome to day 32 of Reese's Stories and the name of this book is called Rags the Brave Puppy. Rags is a lovely little puppy with silky soft fur and big brown eyes. He lives at 87 Chestnut Drive with his mummy, his brother Rufus and his sisters Tilly and Tanya. But there's one small problem. Rags loves to show everyone that he's the bounciest, noisiest puppy there is. And the postman pops letters to the letter box. It's boing, boing, yap, yap, boing, boing, yap, yap. Every time a dog goes past the house, Rags scampers to the fence. And Wolf's the loudest puppy-sized wolf. You ever did hear? Woof! 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 And whenever he sees Ginger, the cat, his brother and sisters have to cover their ears because they just can't stand the noise. All right, cries his mummy. Please try to be quiet and sit still for once. But Rags is too busy bouncing after a butterfly to take any notice. One day the puppies are playing hide and seek in the garden. Yap, 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 cries Rags, bouncing on the flowers. Shh, says Rufus, you must be very quiet to play this game and you have to be very still, say Tanya and Tiddy. Sorry, please can I try again? asks Rags. But the others, others had, ha, have had enough? No, they say. Go and play by yourself. You're spoiling our fun. Rags runs away and hides in the cupboard under the stairs. Nobody likes me, he sniffs. I'll show them how quiet and still I can be. I'm going to stay here all day. And that's exactly what Rag does. Late that night, Rag is still awake. Suddenly, the puppy spots something. Wispy and white. Curling under the door. Creeping towards him. What's this wriggly, wiggly stuff? He wonders. Trying to catch it in his in it trying to catch it in his paw then it goes up his little nose and makes his eyes water and what's that smell he coughs <coughs> poo rags is worried slowly he pushes open the covered door and creeps out Everywhere is dark. Everywhere is quiet. Something's wrong, whispered Rex. Just then, he lets out a yelp as a bright orange red flame shoots towards him from the kitchen door. Oh no, cries Rex. The house is on fire. I must warn everyone. He bounds up the stairs as fast as his paws will carry him. He scratches and scratches at the bedroom door until at last it springs open. Then he pulls at the quids and yaps loudly to wake the family. Wake up, wake up, he yaps. Bouncing from room to room, the house is on fire. Rag soon has the whole house wide awake. The family stumble down the stairs through the thick smoke towards through the thick smoke towards the noise the brave puppy is making. Suddenly the house is lit up with a flashing blue light. Nina, Nina, the sirens will Rex leads his family out of the house to safety just as the fire brigade arrived to help. Whoosh! The fireman 
Fireman and woman aim their hoses at the flames in the kitchen and soon have everything under control. Everyone is safe thanks to rags, says Fire Officer Jones. A couple of days later, at the town hall, Fire Officer Jones rewards Rags with his shiny gold medal and fixes it to his collar. This is for being such a brave puppy, he says. Yap, yap, backs Rags, wagging his tail. That afternoon, Rags' family gathered round to look at his picture in the Local newspaper, the village star, rags to the rescue. Well done, rags, woofs, his mummy. From now on, you can be as bouncy and as noisy as you like. But little rags is really tired after his adventure. He curls up in his basket for a well-deserved snooze and yips sleepily i'll be